It's evangelism aimed at an audience that preachers may not be reaching. We have to win this young hip-hop generation for Jesus Christ, and what we use is hip-hop music. Our music needs to change. Somebody doesn't want to be a player. Somebody don't want to be a thug. Somebody wants to live right. See ya! Help us reach a lost generation before it's too late. Jesus said it is possible to worship him in vain. People don't worship God. And I'm going to go in a direction that will guide you now into why we don't worship God. We think we worship God. I thought I worship God and I still do think sometimes I worship God and I don't worship God. Worshiping God is very difficult and yet very simple. I want everyone to please focus tonight and focus on the word tonight. Think about what we're talking about. I want you young people to think about it. I want you dancers to think about what I'm going to talk about. I want you to think about it. Pastors and ministers and men and business people, I want you to think about this tonight. Nothing is more dangerous than making the means the end. Because you waste time, you waste energy, and you waste resources when you make the means the end. God's problem with man is that man is always preoccupied with the means to do something rather than the end for which it is done. I believe this is why God has helped me a little bit and the little I know about purpose because purpose has to do with the end, the discovery of the reason why, the end result. We are experts at the means and we very rarely get to the end. As a matter of fact, maybe, and I'm going to take a little presumption here, but maybe 90% of what you call worship is preoccupation with the means. And if we're lucky, can I use the word lucky? If we're lucky, God might allow us our 10% of worship one day, once a month, or twice a year. The rest of it is calisthenics. We have fun, but we don't necessarily use it for the purpose for which it was made. When the means become more important than the end, then purpose is aborted. When your song becomes more important than the one you are singing to, then the entire worship experience is aborted. I have tasted the presence of God. When I say taste, I'm talking about the experience of the genuine presence of Jehovah. I'm not sure what it is. I could not tell you what that presence is. I couldn't describe it for you. All I know is when it's not there. The process should take us to purpose. And this is not easy. Whether God showed up or not is not important to us. What's important is we went through this process, whatever that process is. And we are happy, matter of fact, we are proud that we did sit through that for two hours. We consider that an accomplishment. I made it through the service. Now God, I hope you're satisfied whoever you are. I know you didn't show up, but I did my part. So the process has become the purpose. When the process becomes more important than the purpose, then idolatry is created. Whatever you place more work on becomes the idol. Even if it's a dance or a song, that's why I'm telling you worship is very difficult. You think it's simple. 
This is Cheryl. I'm in Denver, and God has just blessed you. Thank you so much. This is Jessica. Oh, my goodness, you blessed me with that broadcast. You don't know how you blessed me. And this is something you can battle the world with, man. I showed this to one of the pastors. They love this. My name is Bruce. I just want to say thank you, sir. I really love this sermon song. I have all you want to know, Pastor Jones and Crepo and all them. Basically, man, I just want to tell you that this has been a blessing in my life. I know sermon songs and life radio and all that stuff is bumping, and you getting your fun. But, man, it can go up to you if you come out here on the West Coast. For real. Woo! <laughs>